Good morning, Year Two. It's Mrs. Crab here. We're going to be writing our explanation text today. Shall we have a look how the lesson's going to be broken down? So our question is, how do brilliant writers write an explanation text? We're going to start with a warm up, spelling words with r at the front. We're going to look at our plans and we're going to model some writing. Then it's going to be your turn to write the start of your explanation text. Don't worry, we're not going to do it all today. Let's check you've got what you're going to need today. Have you got a pencil, some paper and your brain? If you need to get any of those things, put me on pause now. Let's start our lesson. So we've been looking at this sound. We're going to spell it today in some words. We're going to say the word, count the sounds using our thread fingers, pinch the sounds and write it. You'll be used to doing this at school. So I'm going to say the word and I would like you to do those things and write down the spelling. So your first word is wren. R, E, N. Pinch those sounds. R, E, N. R, E, N. And then write it down. Your next word is right. Can you spell right? Remember, red fingers, pinch the sounds, write it down, and most important of all, don't forget to check it. Your next word is wrap. I like to wrap a gift. Wrap. Well done for using your red fingers. Pinching those sounds and writing it correctly. Your next word is wrist. Wrist. I have hurt my wrist. Wrist. If I'm going too fast at any point, pop me on pause. Your next word is wrong. Wrong. Sorry, that is wrong. Wrong. And your last word today is wrench. Wrench. Please pass me the wrench. Okay, just check all of those. You should have wren, right, wrap, wrist, wrong, and wrench. Shall we see if you got them correct? Here we go. Pop the screen on pause so you can mark your work. Give yourself a big tick if you've got them correct. If you need to make any corrections, do so now. So today we are going to be writing the start of our explanation text. It's really important that we look at our plans before we start to write. This will give us all those ideas to use today. Here's my plan. So I split my plan into a title, so I can use that one straight away. Introduction and paragraph one. We're not going to write paragraph two or the conclusion today. We're just gonna focus on the start. So let's have a look about sharing my screen. I'm gonna sh stop sharing, there we go. So you can see, hopefully you see me write. Now, on my plan, Ooh, let's move you up. <laughs> On my plan, you'll see, we started with a title. And my title was How Rainbows Are Formed. So I'm going to write that down now. Lovely capital letter to start. How rainbows. I'm really concentrating on my handwriting here. You can see a nice tall ascender in rainbows are formed. Or, mm, yeah. So that was my title. Would you like to pop me on pause and write your title now? We're going to move on to the next part 
of our explanation text today, the introduction. This is really important because it tells people what the text is going to be about. Some of you may have already written your introduction and you can skip me now um, and copy it out. If you need to write your introduction, watch me do it now. Now, we know that we were focusing on our conjunctions this week, so I need to make sure I include them in my writing. I'm going to think of the start of a sentence first and then think how I can extend it. So my title was, How Are Rainbows Formed? So I'm going to let people know, first of all, what a rainbow is, just in case they don't know. So I'm going to say rainbows are pretty arcs. Let's say that all together. Rainbows are pretty arcs. Ooh, four words to write down. Rainbows are pretty arcs. I'm going to start with my capital letter. Here goes. Nice capital letter. Look how I started on a new line. Rain. O's are now I know pretty is one of our red words, so I'm gonna sound I can't sound it out easily. Sounds like pretty if I was to sound it out, that's the way it's spelled. So it's p -r -e, not an ear, two T's and a Y. R Rainbows are pretty arcs. I'm quite pleased with the start of that sentence, but I want to extend it now. Hmm, I wonder which one I'm going to use. I think I might use that, and I can tell people where the rainbows are found. Where are they? In the sky. Pr rainbows are pretty arcs that, so there's my conjunction, are found out in the sky. Ooh, I. I know I could be Ica Hub, but that doesn't look right to me. Oh yes, I could use my sound card and have a look. I know, it's a Y. I'm gonna check my sentence. Rainbows are pretty arcs that are found in the sky. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna put my full stop on. Now, I want something a little bit more general as well, because I'm thinking in my head, actually, people really like rainbows, don't they? That was on my plan. And we've used rainbows loads and loads at the moment because they're a symbol of hope. So I might say, people love them. I'm gonna start with that, people love them. Now, people is one of our red words, isn't it? And we say like, be your belief, remember. Love, that's one of our year one red words. L O V E, them. F E. I'm going to use another conjunction now. I'm going to use because. Big elements can always understand small elements. And we said they're symbols of hope. So I'm going to read it back, check it every time. People love them because they're. Oh, we've got our contraction. Do you remember that from last week? They're symbols of hope. Uh, oh, it's the E. Oh, stop. Let's read back what we've got so far. Rainbows are pretty arcs that are found in the sky. People love them because they're symbols of hope. Now, I want people to carry on reading my explanation text. So I might say, Read on to find out more. Let's put that down. Read on, I've got my capital letter to find. find. Remember, that's one of our red words, it's just an ear making that eye sound. Out more. Now, I wonder what they're going to find out more about. And it's actually about how rainbows are made, isn't it? So I'm going to say, read on to find out more um, about how rainbows are made. And that gives the reader a really good clue now, don't forget my full stop, about what they're going to do next. So put me on pause and write your introduction now. 
you can use your plan to help. You could use mine if you need to as well. I'll see you in a minute to write our first paragraph. How did you do everybody? Are you ready to do paragraph one? Fantastic. So it's really important now that you miss a line. This lets the reader know that we're moving on to a new section of the text. I'm gonna have a little look at my plan, I've just got down here, and run through all of the different things that I wanted to say. This helps me form my sentences. Have a look at your plan, is it similar to mine? So from my plan, I can see that I want to say about when rainbows appear. So I'm going to say, rainbows appear when? I'm going to start that first, make sure I've got that correctly down on the page. Rainbows appear when? Okay, every sentence starts with A. You've got it, capital letter. So my nice tall capital R. My A is going to be just up to the middle of that now. Rainbows appear at Cooper's ear when. And we always say there's a hen in when, so we don't forget that H. Rainbows appear when. And that is my conjunction. And we all know when do rainbows appear? When there's sunshine or and rain or mist in the sky. So I'm going to put that down there. Rainbows appear when there is sunshine and rain or mist in the sky. When there. Well, I could even actually contract that and put there's sunshine, sun, shh, lit eye, and rain. Or mist in the sky. And we spelt sky before. It wasn't with I G H on the end, was it? It's with a Y. So I've got my first sentence. Now I wanted to say about the colours separating, because we see those beautiful colours in the rainbow, don't we? So I'm looking at my plan to see what my next sentence could be. I'm going to formulate it in my head and practice saying it out loud before I write it. So I want to say the light splits into separate colours. I might even say what the colours are in a minute. So I think that's going to be my sentence. The light separates, or oh no, actually split. The light splits into separate colours. Brilliant. So the capital letter. Light, Ooh, now this is my I-G-H-I, split, Ooh, it's into, now separate, that's a long word, separate colours. So that's a really super start of my sentence, but I know I need to ex um, extend it now with my conjunction. I'm going to say the colours that it includes. Um, so the light splits into separate colours that includes, I bet you can shout out to me now what the colours are. What are they, everybody? Yeah, well done. Red. Now it's going to be a list. So I'm going to use my commas. Orange. What's next? Yellow. Well done. Does anyone know the next one? Oh, lots of voices shouting green at me. Oh, my favourite colour, do you remember from the crayons? It's blue. Lesser use colour now, indigo. Indigo. And last one, violet. Well done. And as always, I end my sentence with a full stop. Brilliant. So that's going to be my next paragraph. It's really important now that I read the whole thing back through and check it. Rainbows appear when, brilliant. This is where I'm gonna get my pink today for my conjunction. There's sunshine and rain or mist in the sky. The light splits into separate colors. That, brilliant, includes, 
include um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. I think I'm done. It's your turn now to write your first paragraph. Remember, only do this one today because we're going to write the rest tomorrow. Good luck, everybody. I'm going to now share my screen back so we can end our lesson. Okay. Well done. Whoops. Slide on in. You should have today done your first paragraph, your title and your introduction, obviously. If you need to have a little look at this, it could help you with what you're going to write. So if you're one chilly challenge, you're going to use your plan to write a series of sentences about rainbows. If you're two, you are going to use your plan to include a title, introduction and first paragraph, making sure you include when, if, that and because. And if you were free chilly challenges, you've already got, hopefully, your introduction. And maybe you could add some diagrams and illustrations too. We can't wait to see your fantastic writing today. So hopefully you finished the first part of your explanation text today. As I said before, it's really, really important to check it. So what I would like you to do now, if you haven't done so already, is read your work back through. For every sentence, check. You've got a capital letter. Have you used your finger spaces? Have you used four stops in the correct place or the correct punctuation if you're doing different sentence types? And have you used all of our conjunctions today? Have you used when, if, that, because? I'm sure you've done amazing work and it would be great if you could pop this on tapestry so your teachers can see it today. So tomorrow we are going to be completing our explanation text. I'll see you then. But if you fancy doing some reading, up next we're going to be doing The Bear and the Piano Book. It's a fantastic story and I hope that you can join me. Have a lovely day everybody and I will see you later on for reading and tomorrow for our writing. Bye, everyone.